My name is Paris Afshurdi. I'm a sustainability analyst and organizational coordinator. In the last few years, I've been in the sustainability consulting arena, uh, mainly in corporate sustainability, financial disclosures, environmental reporting, to human rights uh, risk assessment and compliance. When I was in high school, I went to an astronomy trip. Uh, the skies were all overcast uh, during our trip, so we ended up doing a lot of hiking in the protected areas of, of central Iran. And that's where I got to learn about some conservation issues that that um, the protected area was facing. So that's um, when I remember I knew I, I love to work in that area and that area only. My mother uh, realized that uh, in order to have a more secure and um, equitable future for us, it's time for us to emigrate and, um, and Canada was the first option because we had distant family here. Living in Canada, especially now in the West Coast, being able to experience and explore the, the natural world um, around me is wonderful so that I would get my emotional and psychological recharge after work or on breaks. The fact that sustainability is now a broad area where it involves social uh, issues as well that keeps me really engaged because as a person and professional we, if we deal with social issues and, and now we get to kind of um, integrate that into the sustainability. Uh, so it's not only about preserving the environment, it's also about uh, bringing about an equi equitable and inclusive and fair uh, future for us all. So that's kind of, it's very inclusive. Learning that I have a minor learning disability, uh, in a in a way that was um, very enabling for me to recognize that because it helped me understand my um, how I interact with concepts on the day to day on the learning and and professional field. At the same time, uh, graduating, it was a struggle to know. Okay, so how can I excel? knowing that I have a disability. In my case, it's kind of a hidden neurodivergence um, that uh, usually people wouldn't really notice. I, I know it more than others. I was uh, helping with the company Shift Critical International on freelance basis and uh, they wanted to hire me but uh, they didn't have uh, the funds for it given that they are a new startup themselves. Um, so when I looked uh, at Eco Canada's website, uh, which I have been following for a few years, so I thought, okay, maybe Eco Canada has an has an existing grants that we could qualify for, and 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 so it was, and it was actually fairly easy uh, to apply. It was a seamless process to get started and and get approved, and and then I was uh, we were uh, we started working for for eight months together and that was, that was a great experience. Once I moved here two years ago, I was um, able to see that I can in fact have a lush and green landscape throughout the year, which is um, not only motiv motivating on personal level, but it's very much aligned with the things that kept me up at night, which would be climate change and circularity issues. I've started being content to work in the private sector and yet I help with nonprofits and sustainability campaigns in my spare time or in the evenings and weekends. I actually got a, a additional funding for training opportunities through Eco Canada as well to have additional training for, for the, the things I was interested professionally. 